Okay, I'm going to show you how to install a font that I've used on um, my products. Um, you will usually see my Terms of Use page looks similar to this. Um, all the artists that I've used will be listed along with the different fonts that were used. So if you would like to install these fonts, which you would should if you want it to look like the preview. So these three fonts were used in this product. So you would go to the first one, which is called KG Eyes Wide Open. Notice this is blue, bolded, and underlined, which means it is a hyperlink. So what you need to do is right click, and this will come up. Oh, they have edit hyperlink, open, copy, and remove. You want to click open hyperlink. And when you click open hyperlink, it should bring you to your internet browser, whichever one is your default, and it'll bring you to the site where you can download this particular font. So this one is KG Eyes Wide Open. Again, it's free for personal use. If you want to use it for commercial, you have to purchase a commercial license. But it's free for personal use. So you would click download now. You would log in if you are not logged in. And it will prompt you back to this site where you can click download. Once you click download now, it will redirect you to this page, which is usually a thank you. And this comes up at the bottom. If you have Google Chrome, it will also come up at the bottom. You're going to click open, and your download folder will appear. Now, this is the entire folder for that particular font, so you want to open it. You're going to usually have two different types of documents, a true type font file and a text document. The text document just tells you the terms of use for that particular font. And then this is the document, this is the actual file that you would like to open. Once you double click on it, it shows you what that font will look like. You will then hit install. It's going to bring up this box and it's going to go all the way across. The reason why mine did not is because I already have this font. So it's asking me if I would like to replace it. Sure, why not? I'll hit yes. But yours will fill up all the way and then it'll go away. Notice this box is not clickable anymore. That means you have already installed this font and it is good to go. So you want to exit out of those. Go back to your document and download the next fonts by doing the exact same process. Now, once you are finished downloading all three fonts, you need to close out your document and open it back up. This helps the fonts reload in the document. Until you close it out and reopen it, it may not work correctly. Okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps you. Bye.